I love this city. I don't want to destroy it. Donald Trump wants to destroy not only the city, but the country, and eventually he could destroy the world. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? As we start, pause for a moment. Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling overwhelmed? Are you feeling exhausted? Hear me out here for a moment. You're about to find out one of the reasons why. And I'll tell it to you from the very beginning, and we're gonna talk this through. Satan is wearing down the saints, and that includes you, your house, your neighbors, your coworkers. It's almost like a barrage of things on top of things on top of things on top of things and they're doing so with the purpose of wearing you out so that then you give the world the response that the world wants to get out of you Trump is indicted Trump is now a convicted felon and the way they read it in the news with so much dramatism it's eerie We've got a verdict, Ari Melber. Uh, we are looking at count one, guilty. Uh, count two, guilty. Count three, guilty. Uh, count four, guilty. Count five, guilty. Those are the first five counts coming out of this jury, finding uh, Donald J. Trump guilty on the first five felony counts. Uh, reading the rest as we are getting it from our court reporters. Starting with count six. Count six, guilty. Uh, count seven, guilty. Count eight, guilty. And you'll see on the screen we're tracking ahead. Count nine, guilty. Count 10, guilty. Count 11, guilty. Count 12. I think sometimes we believe the deception so much that we consider it real. And we don't realize that fallen angels entities described in Ephesians 6 12 are at work Wh why do you think when you see pandemics in so many years of pandemic films leading up to a pandemic borders are closed and flights have been grounded stranding millions of travelers we have lost all contact with the outer extremities as the Dow Jones industrial average fell over 2,000 points in its worst week This is like the end of capitalism. This is like the dark ages all over again. And then I wake up today in hospital, I wake up and I'm... Right? So many years of Marvel films talking about DNA manipulation leading up to CRISPR-Cas9 technology, leading up to lab-created meats, leading up to designer babies, leading up to Neuralink where they're literally tinkering with the brain and making transhumanism real. Entities know with predictive programming how to predict things, how to place things in play because they want to be as gods, yet they are defeated. When we look at the novels written by Ingersoll Lockwood, right, in 1889, 1893, and I believe he wrote another one called The Last President in the 1900s. Uh, when you look at those books as an example, where they're talking about Baron Trump, uh, similarities of Donald Trump. Uh, in the book, The 1900s, The Last President, it's literally about a candidate and about different protests that are happening because of election turmoils that are occurring and the downfall of America. And then when you look at films like Back to the Future, where they were alluding to Trump being president in the future. In The Simpsons, they're alluding to Trump being president in the future. <laughs> we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. The country is broke? How can that be? So many different aspects that you see, even with 9-11 predictive programming. Look! It's do anything for publicity. Like two and two, one. This is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers 
A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. When you start understanding all of these chess pieces that Satan is operating out there almost as if to wear you out and mock you, you then begin to understand the importance of taking thoughts captive. You know, in Ephesians 6, 16, above all, taking the shield of faith. Imagine yourself being a soldier putting up a shield when your thought life is being attacked. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. From the moment you wake up, the devil is throwing darts at you. You wake up at six, darts of doubt. Why are you going to work? What's the point? Oh, I can't believe she said this to you. Are you just going to take that? Or oh, I can't believe this happened. Are you just going to go with that? And the devil begins to throw darts at you and darts at you and darts at you. Or maybe as a family man. I know how hard it is, man. You're trying to make it. You're trying to find the way to do what you're doing for the Lord. Or you're trying to do the things that you want to do for Jesus Christ. But look at the eradication of the middle class. The eradication of the middle class is devastating. Having a safe and affordable home is essential for all Americans to thrive. For decades, low-income families have struggled to access affordable rental homes. However, this issue has now become a significant problem for the middle class as well. Millions of middle-income earners are unable to afford rent in major U.S. cities due to the steep rise in prices since the pandemic. Without significant pay increases or government assistance, these middle-class households are being excluded from the typical middle-class neighborhoods. This exclusion triggers a chain reaction that leads to systemic poverty and lingering inequality. In other words, housing costs are suffocating the middle class. Most families cannot afford even to go to McDonald's. Back then, McDonald's was the quote-unquote fast food. Rents are sky high. Ownership is almost going to be impossible. There are countries talking about mortgages of over 50 years. And even then, if you don't pay your taxes, that property belongs to the corporation. Because many of these nations have you thinking that their nation, oh, let's vote for who will be president here, president there. But when you really look at the financial structures, all of these countries are only owned by two or three corporations. These are business entities. All right. The passport is just to make sure that you're confined to the entity that you belong to. But the kingdoms of this world do not view you as a citizen. The kingdoms of this world are operating via the power of Satan, who is defeated, mind you. But through all of this living in this earthly kingdom, the good news that I have for you today, the great news that I have for you today is that if you're an ambassador from Jesus Christ, God has translated you from the kingdoms of darkness into the kingdoms of his dear son. So you may live on this earth, but via taking thoughts captive, via living for Christ, via enduring unto the end, via having faith that he has already conquered, via having faith that he has already conquered, your mindset can be refreshed. Your thought process can be refreshed. Your household can be refreshed. Because I am telling you, they're trying to create chaos. They want a civil war. They want you to think that one president is better than the other. Because honestly, if we think fleshly here, you ask me who's better, Trump or Biden, I'm going to tell you Trump. But I'm not talking from a perspective of being a citizen of America. Because if the mark of the beast was instituted today, if the mark of the beast was instituted today, do you think any of these presidents would protect you? Not really. Remember the pandemic. We started with 15 days to stop the spread, 30 days to stop the spread, 90 days to stop the spread. Operation Warp Speed, right? Let's bring this jab faster than ever. I hope we're going to have a vaccine and, and we're going to fast track it like you've never seen before. Adding Trump style branding, the administration launched Operation Warp Speed a multi-billion dollar research and manufacturing effort to shorten the typical year plus vaccine development timeline. The goal is ambitious, producing patient ready vaccines as early as January. And then what happens now years later, people are dying left and right, allegedly because of the jab and many other aspects. And we, we're, we're seeing a rise in the destruction of the morale of people. But the devil can only destroy your morale when your morale is based on this world. When your morale is based on the kingdom of heaven, when any issues arise in your life, yes, they're going to be hard because trust me, I go through my own issues too. You go through your own issues too. It ain't easy. But when your life is based on the kingdom of above, when these situations arise in our life, 
Our mindset goes from being a mindset of being a victim or, or a mindset of feeling defeated to a mindset of saying, you know what, I rejoice in this test because this test is giving me yet another opportunity for me to meet, get developed for the glory of God. Election season is here. You're going to see division tactics. You're going to see things to wear you out. Inflation is here. They're going to wear you out. They're going to wear you out. Why are you going to allow that to happen? They'll wear us out, find refuge in the one who cares for you and told you the beginning to the end. There's only one who told you that the last days will be as the days of Noah. Okay, there's one who told you the beginning from the end and he cares for you. And I want to pray with you right now, okay? I want us to pray together, all right? I want you to be encouraged, all right? All, right, all of these things that are happening. I, I know many of you love this nation. You've grown up in this nation. I love this nation. I'm grateful to be in America. This is not the America that you and I grew up in. This is not the America that we knew. This is a corporation. And this corporation is soon going to unite with other corporations to continue to enslave humanity. Do not entangle yourself too much with the affairs of this world. Because the affairs of this world aim to destroy your relationship with the King of Kings. I love you. I love you more than you can imagine. And I want to pray with you right now, wherever you're at, listening to this. Let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, wherever my brother and my sister that's listening to this is right now, whether they're driving, listening to this in the car, whether they're at home, in the name of Jesus, refresh them by your power, by your anointing, and by your awesome grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that you refresh us right now. That you may convict us of the things that we've allowed to wear us out that you never wanted it to wear us out. That you may convict us of the things that we have to adjust, change, and, and, and do so that we can be in a better position so when the fiery darts of Satan come, we can tell them to go in the name of Jesus. Father, the many sleepless nights that people are having, the intrusive thoughts that brothers and sisters are going through, the sleep paralysis that some are going through, the abduction events that many have stopped in the name of Jesus Christ, the many entities that are going to try to appear in the heavens to try to deceive us in the name of Jesus. Give us the courage, give us the wisdom, give us the knowledge via your power so that we can overcome and you can be glorified. Anxiety, depression, all of that gone in the name of Jesus. Not by our power and not by us simply saying these words. No, this is not name it, claim it or decree and declare it. This is simply us trusting in the word of God above all things. He loves you. He loves you. He cares for you, all right? Beyond anything you could imagine, I love you too. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thanks for passing by yet again. Do you know how awesome it is that you're taking time to be here? Can you do me a huge, tiny little favor? There's a thumbs up button on the bottom of the video. Press that, please. And also the share button. It takes you five or 10 seconds to text this or share it with a friend. As a non-monetized channel, the reason this is important is because it allows these videos to get traction without having to be monetized or pay for promotions or different things like that. Um, so that's really important. So we appreciate that. Also, I'm going to be putting a video on the screen. This video that you're going to see on the screen is of our online fellowship. If you're looking for some online fellowship, uh, this in no way replaces local fellowship, which I think is very important. But if you're looking for a place to have a little bit of fellowship throughout the week, check out that video. That's an example on that channel, Bible TV, that you can join us, fellowship with us. You can talk to us on Zoom. We can talk with each other, talk things through and help each other out. It's on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. Saturdays 10 a.m. and Sundays at 8 a.m. and we come together and we just talk like regular human beings and we let the word of God shine and uh, uh, we love you. God bless you. Thank you for making this a channel for you to pass by weekly. Thank you for considering supporting this ministry and you have a blessed, blessed, blessed week, okay? Don't give up. God's got your back.